Zayo, I am Dr. Cool. Updates on trip to Cairo by self-powered car, why it's getting delayed. Before that, let's recap what has been and where it's going. Maxwell Chikambutso, an inventor from Africa, a name that has sparked intrigue and controversy. Known for his innovative spirit and relentless pursuit of groundbreaking technology, Chikumbutso has always aimed to push the boundaries of what is possible. He is a Zimbabwean inventor with a bold vision. His work spans various fields from telecommunications to renewable energy, showcasing his versatility and commitment to creating a sustainable future. Chikumbutso claims to have created a car that runs on radio waves, a seemingly impossible feat. This invention, if proven viable, could revolutionize the automotive industry and significantly reduce our reliance on fossil fuels. To prove his invention, he announced a grand expedition. This bold move was intended to silence skeptics and demonstrate the practical application of his technology. His Scythe Kaivi self-powered car will be driven from Harare, Zimbabwe to Cairo, Egypt. This journey was not just a test of his invention, but also a statement of his confidence in its capabilities. He would have chosen a shorter distance, however, he want to ensure he put the final nail on the casket of skeptics so they will never rise again. This 7,500 kilometer journey captured the world's attention. It was a daring endeavor that promised to showcase the future of transportation. It promised a future free from fossil fuels, a world where clean renewable energy sources could power our daily lives without harming the environment, a future where energy independence was within reach. This vision resonated with many who were eager for sustainable solutions to the world's energy problems. The proposed journey was audacious. It would take the car through diverse terrains and climates, testing its resilience and adaptability. It traversed multiple countries, each with its own challenges. From border crossings to varying road conditions, the journey was fraught with potential obstacles. The world watched, captivated by the potential of this groundbreaking technology. News outlets and social media buzzed with updates and speculations. Could this be the dawn of a new era? An era where innovative technology could solve some of our most pressing issues? Or was it, as some suspected, too good to be true? The world waited with bated breath to see if Chikumbutso's ambitious goal would become a reality or remain a tantalizing dream. The allure of Chikumbutso's invention was undeniable. His car, if genuine, promised a revolution in energy consumption. Imagine a world where cars ran without gasoline or electricity from the grid. No more dependence on fossil fuels. No more carbon emissions polluting our atmosphere. This was the dream Chikumbutso sold, and it resonated deeply with a world grappling with climate change and energy crisis. The potential impact of such technology extended far beyond personal transportation. It could revolutionize industries, power homes, and uplift entire communities. Developing nations, often burdened by energy poverty, could finally access clean and sustainable power. The possibilities seemed endless, fueling excitement and anticipation for the Cairo car trip. Despite the hype, a cloud of skepticism loomed over Chikumbutso's claims. His bold assertion that he had created a self-powered car capable of running indefinitely without traditional fuel or charging was met with raised eyebrows and furrowed brows. The scientific community, bound by the laws of physics, met his invention with disbelief. They questioned how such a car could exist without violating the fundamental principles of energy conservation. Claims of harnessing ambient electromagnetic waves for power seemed fantastical, almost like something out of a science fiction novel. However, it doesn't matter so long as it works. Claims of harnessing ambient electromagnetic waves for power seemed fantastical. The idea that a car could draw energy from the air around it, converting these waves into usable power was intriguing but highly improbable. Critics argued it was akin to perpetual motion, a concept long failsly debunked as impossible. However, that's why the trip to Cairo is set to bury the skepticism without burial ceremony. Critics argued it was akin to perpetual motion, a concept long debunked as impossible. Perpetual motion machines, which claim to operate indefinitely without an energy source, have been proven time and again to be a scientific impossibility, a terrible idea to believe in science than God. Fake investigative reports soon emerged, casting serious doubt on Chikumbutso's claims. Journalists and researchers began to dig deeper, uncovering inconsistencies and questioning the validity of his so-called breakthrough. Evidence pointed to a more mundane reality. However, inventor getting poisoned isn't more one of the elements missing in the puzzle that must be fronted while arguing blindly. Evidence pointed to a more mundane reality. The car, a Kai X3 Pro EV, was not revolutionary. It was a standard electric vehicle powered by a conventional lithium-ion battery. If so, how come it's putting out 15 kVA of power to power home, which the almighty Cybertruck couldn't ace? This shitty skeptic just keep adding one destructive layer over another, on and on. And the only way to nail this skepticism is through a trip, never heard of or tried by any electric car from Tesla or Biaid, which is impossible by those EV with lithium battery. Also on side of self-powered generator, the fuel-free claim was a facade, the car reliant on a portable power station. A device readily available online, the reality was proved to be true. Maxwell Chikumbutso bought a box off China, 
cover his potable prototype of green machine that have near identical with items sold on Amazon for 499. After a closer thorough investigation conducted by Dr. Cool Autofix, this claims of self-powered green machine was revealed. To be box identity of Brony Solar Generator, while Maxwell Green Machine is truly infinite power as claimed by inventor, as demonstrated before President of Zimbabwe. It to dis believes that Zimbabweans are capable of spearheading game-changing first-of-a-kind innovations that challenge the world's traditional ways of doing things. President Wanagagwa said no one can take away that capability. He was, he said this earlier today, when Zimbabwean innovator and inventor Maxo Chikumbuzo paid a courtesy call showcasing his latest invention of the world's first soft firing vehicles and motorbikes that run just on radio waves. This is one of Chikumbuzo's groundbreaking innovations. He calls it a self-powering electric vehicle. Powered entirely by radio waves, this is the first of its kind in the world. Today, Chikumbuzo paid a courtesy call on President Mnangagwa at the State House in Harare, where he presented his latest inventions. I'll switch it on so that you can see. I think you can see the battery. It will start to charge itself. The president said such were testament that Zimbabweans were skilled enough to usher leading inventions that defy logic. This is the only vehicle that exists in the world. There's no other in the world. This is the only vehicle in the world that it is here in Zimbabwe. And this young Zimbabwe. And he's so gifted, you won't believe it. When you first come to uh, talk to me, I'll talk to you some <laughs> Chikumbuzo took the opportunity to explain and demonstrate how his latest invention works. So with this car you can also use it to power your house. It is a moving generator. When you drive from work uh, back to your home, you can connect your power cable, then you can power your house. It, just, it gives you 15 kilowatts uh, power to power your house. And the vehicle itself, it has got 160 kilowatts electric motor, which gives you a torque of about 300 and, uh, 308, 320 to 308 newton meters of, meters of torque. That means it's, it's fast. It to dismiss the false narrative and misinformation from PR Nigeria and other entities like Chikanza, who are more or less quarks and incompetent, to constructively validate if Maxwell Chikumbutso green energy is real or hoax which their conclusions was gotten by face evaluation, not by the content inside the product, which can only be proven to wrong by dissecting the product to show the world a concrete evidence that match their claims, which the false investigative journalist didn't showcase. The dream of a radio wave powered car began to unravel, revealing a truth which a critical examination from different demonstrations restores hope of future of automotive technology from Maxwell Chikumbutso self-powered invention. To Fura destroy the conclusion by face value of PR Nigeria, it's certain that a product made by any company can have same body structure, but different internal structure which defines the specifications given to the manufacturers to build such products. The need to iron out false narrative to clear path for truth is critical. Bureaucracies tangled web permits and clearances. Even with genuine technology, international road trips are logistically complex. Chikumbutso's Cairo car quest faced a mountain of bureaucratic hurdles. Securing permits and clearances to cross multiple borders is a time-consuming process. Each country has its own regulations, requiring meticulous paperwork and approvals. The journey demanded coordination with various government agencies, customs officials, and diplomatic channels. Delays were inevitable, even under the best circumstances. However, the now exposed deception surrounding the car's technology threw a further wrench into the works. The legitimacy of the project was called into question, potentially leading to increased scrutiny and reluctance from authorities to grant necessary approvals. Section 5, The Long Road Ahead, Strategic Planning for a 7,500-Kilometer Journey. A road trip spanning 7,500 kilometers demands meticulous planning. Chikumbutso's team needed to map out a detailed route, considering road conditions, border crossings, and even as no need for pit stop for recharge as it originally doesn't have any port to input, plug it to charge. This was no small feat, even with a conventional electric vehicle or gas-powered car. The journey required careful consideration of strategic energy efficiency from IET Microsonus Energy Device, ensuring the car had sufficient power to reach its destination. This alone presented a logistical challenge, potentially necessitating deviations from what was agreed previously on best route which still remains secret. The team needed contingency plans for breakdowns, accidents and unforeseen circumstances adding further complexity to the undertaking. 
The illusion falters. Mechanical issues and the reality of long-distance travel. Even the most reliable vehicles are prone to mechanical issues, especially on long journeys. Chikumbuzo's car, stripped of its self-powered facade, faced the same vulnerabilities as any other electric vehicle. The grueling journey across diverse terrains and climates increased the likelihood of breakdowns and technical difficulties. Tire punctures, battery malfunctions, and unforeseen component failures could bring the journey to a grinding halt. Addressing these issues in remote areas, potentially without access to specialized mechanics or spare parts, would pose significant challenges. The lack of transparency surrounding the car's true nature made it difficult to assess the team's preparedness for such eventualities. The quest stalled, a confluence of challenges and skepticism. Maxwell Chikumbutso's Cairo car quest, once a beacon of hope for a fuel-free future, now stands as a cautionary tale. The ambitious project which promised to revolutionize the automotive industry with a fuel-free vehicle captured the imagination of many. It was seen as a potential game-changer, a step towards a more sustainable future. However, the reality turned out to be far more complex and challenging than initially anticipated. The reality that lies beneath the groundbreaking invention of Maxwell Chikumbutso, invention still faces security threats from masked cooperations. This are the champions of septism and false narrative about the Scythe Kaivi Pro 3. This trip isn't just a journey, it's a media spectacle. Maxwell's team needs viral-worthy content for YouTube, but filming in conflict zones, managing drones in sandstorms, timing posts for global audiences, one wrong move, and the story becomes inventor stranded in desert. Plus, sponsors might pull funding if timelines slip, forcing the team to regroup silently. Asterisk. The bureaucratic hurdles of international travel, the logistical complexities of a 7,500-kilometer journey, and the ever-present risk of mechanical issues all contributed to the project's standstill. The ambitious plan to drive the car from Cairo to Johannesburg faced numerous obstacles, from securing the necessary permits to navigating the challenging terrain. Each step of the journey presented new challenges, further complicating the already difficult task. However, it was the erosion of public trust fueled by the exposed deception that dealt the most significant blow. The initial enthusiasm and support from the public and potential investors waned as doubts about the project's feasibility and integrity grew. This trip is set to restore hope to humanity, gain trust when there is loss of trust trying to play a critical factor in the project's downfall, highlighting the importance of transparency and honesty in any ambitious endeavor which Maxwell Chikumbutso upholds beyond every measure. The Cairo Car Quest serves as a stark reminder that technological advancements, however ambitious, must be grounded in reality and transparency to garner support and achieve success. So is the dream dead? Not yet. Delays mean more testing, better partnerships and smarter planning. Maxwell's vision could still redefine transportation in Africa if he conquers deserts, red tape and the algorithm. Stay tuned as this underscores the need for realistic expectations and honest communication in the pursuit of innovation. While the dream of a fuel-free future has become alive, the lessons learned from this project will undoubtedly shape the path forward for future endeavors in the automotive industry and beyond. Subscribe for updates. Will this car make history? You'll hear it here first. Do share this video, stay positive, optimistic, hopeful, motivated, inspired with a renewed hope, and more importantly, stay alive. As always, I'm Dr. Cool. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a flight to catch and a self-powered car to drive. See in comments section.